I meet many patients who come and say, Doctor, I have tried every single eye drop in the market, but my dry eye does not get better. The truth is, every dry eye disease is unique in its own way. What works for one patient may not work for another. I am Dr. Vardhaman Kankariya, a cataract and refractive surgeon at Asian Eye Hospital, Pune, with a legacy of 40 years of pioneering eye care. In this video, I am going to take you through why dry eye happens, what are the home remedies that you can do on your own at your comfort of home, and most importantly, what are the current latest technological advancements in treating dryness as of 2025. So let us look at what is dryness. Our eyes stay healthy because of a protective layer over the cornea called as the tear film. This tear film keeps your eyes clean, gives moisturization to your cornea and necessary nutrition to your ocular surface. This tear film is made up of three different layers. The top layer is of lipid layer which helps to avoid evaporation of tears. The middle layer is water layer which is for hydration that it provides and the innermost layer is the mucin layer which helps in spreading this tear film evenly over your ocular surface if the delicate balance of all these three component breaks then the patients develop dry eye syndrome this dry eye syndrome can occur because of lack of production of tears or it can also happen because of excessive evaporation of tears, thus leading to insufficient tear production or excessive tear evaporation, leading to unstable ocular surface. Now let us look at why dry eye is so common today. With overuse of screens, overuse of contact lenses, air conditioning environment and pollution, now the dryness is the most fastest growing eye disorder in the world. In fact, one out of every three adults currently suffers from dryness and we at Asian Eye Hospital see even children now suffering from dry eye disorder. But the most important thing is, not every dry eye is the same, therefore the treatment has to be personalized and individualized. So let us look at what are the common symptoms and how will you know that you may suffer from dryness. If you have excessive gritty sensation in the eyes, if your eyes suffer from burning sensation time to time, if the vision fluctuates or the clarity of vision comes and goes, if your eyes get tired with excessive screen time, and in fact, in some individuals, there can also be excessive reactionary or reflex watering because of dryness. If you have two or more of the symptoms for more than a week, you may suffer from dryness and it is time to get your eye checked. So let us come at the diagnosis. At Asian Eye Hospital, we use advanced diagnostics to identify your dry eye with use of Schirmer's test, which is used to check your production of the tears, the tear breakup time, which in our hospital we do with advanced non-invasive manner that checks the stability of the tear film in your eyes and the third is mybography, which checks and images your mybomian glands. These are specialized glands in your eyelids, which produce the oily layer of the tear film. With this diagnostic test, we first identify what is the exact cause of your dry eye and then personalize the treatment according to your etiology. So now let us look at how we treat dryness. A majority of the dry eye therapies involve medical treatment, uh, which starts from the very basic and simple treatment modalities such as using lubricant drops to more advanced technologies which are used in our hospitals. The first and the simplest option is to add a tear lubricant drop. The tear substitutes or also called as artificial tears are the first and the mainstay of treatment for dry eye disorders. But not all lubricant drops work in the same manner. The basic lubricants give moisture to your eyes but does not avoid evaporation. But now there are some advanced molecules which also involves a lipid formulation along with your tear substitutes that not only gives you moisture but also avoids evaporation thus giving more lasting relief. The second is anti-inflammatory medications. 
most often the dryness is always associated with ocular surface inflammation. So anti-inflammatory drops such as a short course of mild steroids or a long course of steroid sparing agents such as cyclosporin is the mainstay of treatment for long-term control of dryness. This anti-inflammatory drops not only improves your dryness but is also known to attack the root cause of dryness which is inflammation in itself. The third one is treating meibomian gland dysfunction. The meibomian glands are tiny glands at the lid margin that secrete the oily layer of the tear film which helps to avoid excessive evaporation of your tears thus reducing the chances of dryness. But in 70% of the patients, the dryness is associated with this meibomian gland dysfunctions. In these cases, these glands are not able to function normally, thus leading to evaporative dryness. This meibomian gland dysfunction can be first treated with the home-based therapy in the form of warm compresses, eyelid massage and the eyelid margin cleaning. But in the cases where your home-based meibomian gland dysfunction therapies do not work well, then we go to more advanced treatments and the first of which is IPL laser which is also known as intense pulse light therapy. This intense pulse light therapy works around your eyelids to reduce its inflammation and improve the oil glands flow thus leading to normal secretion of this oily layer of the tear film and reducing evaporative dry eye. And the second one is thermal pulsation treatments such as Lipiflow which gently heats and massages your eyelids to unclog this meibomian glands and improve its oily gland flow thus again reducing evaporative dry eye. The third one is punctal plugs which conserve your own natural tears. If your tear production is normal but you are losing tears too quickly because of the drainage of the tears through your tear duct, we use punctal plugs. Punctal plugs are tiny silicon devices. They are actually placed at the opening of your tear ducts. Think of them like stoppers in your sink. When placed correctly, these punctal plugs retain more of your natural tears on the ocular surface, thus giving you long-lasting comfort and relief from drier symptoms. The fourth treatment modality is autologous serum and regenerative therapy. For severe and resistant cases, fortunately there are only few of them, we prepare autologous serum from your own blood. This autologous serum has growth proteins and regenerative agents that helps to repair your ocular surface if it is a resistant severe disorder of dryness. Fortunately, these are not required in routine manners and are selectively used in patients with very severe dry eye, especially associated with arthritic inflammatory disorders of the body. These medical treatments work the best when they are combined with lifestyle modification and home-based care. There are very simple steps that you can do at home. Number one, hydrate yourself. Make sure you drink lots of water that will give a good natural tear film production. Second is rule of 20. Follow rule of 20 whenever you are on the screen time. That is every 20 minutes of screen time, take a break of 20 seconds. Look at a distance 20 feet away and blink 20 times. Three is avoid sitting directly under the air conditioning or avoid sitting at the window if you suffer from dry eye disorder. And the number four is to have omega-3 fatty acid rich diet uh, in the form of also capsules which are readily available now. So if you combine home-based maintenance care with the medical treatment, you will have long-lasting relief. The dry disease can alter your comfort, productivity and the quality of life. But with the right diagnosis and the advanced treatment, now it is possible to give you lasting relief. So if you're someone who has dryness or if you know someone who has dry eye disorder, please do share this video with them. If you want to see such educational videos in the future, please do like, subscribe and share these videos with your friends and families. 
सो फ्रॉम एशियन आई हॉस्पिटल साइनिंग ऑफ डॉक्टर वर्धमान कांकरिया